Good morning, everybody. We're headed to go get a manure spreader this morning. Um, it's bright and early, so scooting along to Jasper real quick. We're gonna go get it and get back, hopefully get it hooked to the Magnum and get a few loads spread this morning before it thaws out. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 36 today, but it's 23 right now, so we should get a little bit done. Um, as you can see, I've already cracked my windshield, so that's pretty neat. Um, breaking in the new truck already. Uh, so, got an appointment to get that fixed next week. But, that's what we're doing today. Well, you can't really see it, but there's a spreader back there. And she's a beauty. Nice shiny red. She's going to look really good behind the Magnum. It appears that it works. And it's kind of funny that on the video right now, it looks like those spinners are going really slow, but I promise you, they're going around about 100 mile an hour right now. So let's go get it loaded and go try it out. All right, well, I'd say we could probably call that a full load. So we'll get to getting after it. Well. We've about got the first one spread. I'm sure all the neighbors are loving it. That's okay. You know, we have a lot of people complain about manure around here, but the thing is, if you move from town out into a rural area to an area that's zoned for agriculture, don't complain when there's agriculture around you. This is part of it. It's part of living out here. And you give it a week and you won't smell it at all, honestly usually a couple days and you don't smell it at all so a lot of people complain about it but that's okay load number five got her piled up pretty good pretty easy going job just follow a line set your AV line and go it's definitely back there steaming pretty good so ought to raise some pretty good crops on this next year in theory as long as it rains i think we should because the fertility in this field set up pretty good so the limiting factor in this field is typically rain so should be a pretty good crop out here next year well while the ground thawed out today i took a nap because i'm planning on running pretty much all night tonight the ground's not quite froze yet but I came out to the shop and I believe that I've got my auto steer working now. It was kind of acting up earlier. I put this new plastic piece on that had fallen off and apparently I'd run it over with the light included. So I need to order the light, but for now I've just got that, uh, I had a random LED. So I just threw that on there. And back here, I put new lights on the back here too. Um, these were off Amazon, but they looked like factory lights so I stuck those on there um, I actually had that type of light back there and didn't really care for them because um, they're more of a spot than a they're supposed to be a spot and a flood but they're more of a spot than a flood so got all my lights on it um, gave the tractor a good once over and grease job and uh, got our lights put on and I think we're ready to roll now. So just as soon as it uh, decides to freeze up, we'll get rolling. Well, this tractor absolutely uh, lights things up. I did get the auto steer lined out, so that's good. And uh, I guess we're ready to roll now. So that's what we'll do. We're ready to load. We're loading straight from the barn tonight, so it's gonna make life easy. Right up the road from the field, so it works out really good. Well, we got load two loaded out of the manure barns. So we're headed back to the field again. We're trying to crank them out tonight. It's supposed to snow all night too though, so hopefully we don't get much accumulation. I don't think it's going to. It's not really sticking at all yet, but I'd say it will, but I don't want to get too much snow because I don't want to be putting litter on top of snow, but I'm not entirely sure what the rules are on that, but I'm going to find out before I do it because 
I really don't want to get slapped on the wrist for doing that, so we'll see. And I don't want it to wash away because paying paying some good money for this here uh, steaming pile of shit, so I really hate to see it wash away and go down a ditch. Not only because it's a waste of money, but not good for the environment whatsoever either, so we definitely don't want that. Loaded. We've only got like, I don't know, 40 acres left in this field, so we're gonna wrap it up and call it a night because I really don't wanna be spreading on top of snow. There's really not much on the ground, but there's enough that, I mean, it's a little light dusting, but I don't wanna break any rules, so we're gonna call it a night. Probably after this load, honestly. All we've got left is 20 ton in this field, which it's actually, this whole field's already been spread. Um, I'm just hauling it right up the road to another field. This was just a good spot to dump it. But got the spreader full. This load here should finish the field up the road. And uh, then we'll back blade all this and clean it up, get the grade, yeah, kind of gouge the ground here and there. So we'll back blade this and get this smoothed up and scoop up any litter that's left on the ground because if you have too much, the crop won't even grow. So you definitely don't want that. My cab's already filthy. Um, it was clean. This whole tractor was clean actually. Um, but it was a hair muddy here and there before the ground was completely froze. So yeah, it's back to being dirty again but it's not gonna get washed this week, I can tell you that, as cold as it's gonna be. But uh, all we got left is about 20 ton there, which this spreader won't hold 20 ton, but uh, it'll make a dent in that pile. So we'll take this next load up the road and we will uh, go from there. Okay, well, we threw some fuel in this, threw some fuel in that, blew the uh, radiator and air cleaner out on this tractor because this turkey manure is pretty fine stuff and it's really good at getting stuck in the radiators and making things run hot. So blew that out, blew the motor off and stuff. And uh, I guess we're ready to take this up to the next field now. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna keep giving her. Got that spreader for two more days leased out, so I'm gonna get as much spread as I can in those two days. And then I think, see, today's Monday, so I've got that until Tuesday, or until tomorrow, I guess. And then uh, I've got another one coming Friday, I think. So if I don't get done, it's not the end of the world, but there's somebody else wanting that thing right after I get done with it, and I only leased it until Tuesday, so I would be a lot closer to being done, but with the weather doing what it was doing, I wanted to make sure that what I was doing was completely legal before I did it, so now that we know, we can rock and roll, but we'll keep rolling. Now that's what I call an Uber. Back to the Magnum, away we go. Well, the weather started to turn tonight. It started to snow, so I quit spreading. Went over to a friend's house. We went and got my pickup, and I had my wife run me out here to pick up the Magnum. I thought I'd just bring it home since the spreader has to be back tomorrow. That was a bad idea. Um, 
It is currently snowing so hard I'm squinting trying to see. The roads are slicker than all get out. If you've ever drove a four-wheel drive tractor on snow, they don't get around like you'd think they would. They, uh, they tend to slip and slide and go every which direction. So I'm going a very, very fast 14 miles an hour. It's about a 20 minute tractor drive home. And uh, that's when you're going full speed. So I'm sitting here trying to wipe my windows off because the defrost in this tractor is about worthless right now. And I'm trying to think of what the best way home is that has the least amount of hills because I don't want to go up any more hills than I have to right now because this thing's scratching and crawling and I don't own the spreader behind me and I'd really like to get it back in one piece so I guess the spreading video is going to get cut a little short because of weather um, I haven't gotten near the spreading done I wanted to get done but regulations and weather have not cooperated so it is what it is I'll flip the camera around though and show you guys what's going on. It is, uh, it's a little snowy. I mean, the lights on this tractor are extremely bright, and I still can't see hardly, I don't know, 40 foot in front of me. So, we're just taking it nice and easy, taking the long way home. And we'll get there in one piece so I've got my good playlist going because I'm not using climate so I may as well use Spotify and we're gonna get the spreader and the tractor and hopefully myself home in one piece but uh, kind of wishing I would have got it home before the weather turned I knew it was supposed to snow but not like this it's really coming down and judging by the radar this is just the start of it so Oh well, deal with weather pretty much all year, so it's just a little more exciting this time. Not, not really used to driving tractors in the snow trying to do field work, so I put the, put the quits to spreading just about as soon as it started snowing, and uh, that was about two hours ago, and got to shooting the bull with a buddy, and it's really snowed now, so that's what we're up to. Sorry the uh, spreading videos aren't quite as exciting. I've only got about a hundred acres spread out of the five, six hundred that I'd like to get spread, so I'm sure there'll be more. Oh, we made it home. I slid and skidded and went sideways several times, but we're home and we're here in one piece, so. I'm gonna count that as a win today. It does look nice with all the snow. It's a shame I gotta disturb it. Something's been in the yard and it's not the dogs because the dogs can't come this far. Their fence goes in there. There it is, there's our culvert. It was a rabbit. So we're gonna back this thing in the shed and I'm gonna take a shower and head to bed, I guess.